This is the first weekend in two months that bars and restaurants can host customers and health officials are watching closely. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 11 tonight. I'm Mark Taylor. We're on day two of outdoor seating for patrons and health officials have been checking on businesses to make sure they are following safety orders. NBC4's Eric Calperin is live in Columbus tonight with what Columbus Public Health has been finding out there. Eric. Mark, between going out on scheduled checks and responding to complaints, Columbus Public Health did 23 investigations today. And a spokesperson tells me with all the bars and restaurants they checked, they found them to be in compliance, including Standard Hall here in the Shore North, which had complaints brought against it yesterday. A Saturday afternoon with beautiful weather, the perfect recipe for busy patios. That's before adding in the fact it's the first weekend in about two months restaurants and bars can be open to outdoor seating. I mean, being able to come somewhere where, like, we know it's, you know, safe and we know we can social distance, but also see our friends, like, it's, it's nice, actually. Lindsay Becker and her friends sat outside at Barrel and Taps in Grandview. They say when figuring out where to go Saturday, safety was a big factor. Definitely kept that in mind when we were deciding. Co-owner Carlos Domingo is keeping it in mind too. The bar has rules in place to follow state orders and remove tables from the patio. We see ourselves as a neighborhood bar and so they see us as neighbors and I think that you know that mutual respect is, is seen on our patio. According to the state order, places choosing to be open need to follow a list of rules including having tables at least six feet apart or using barriers if they can't be and having employees wear masks. We've complied, we learned, we're, we're fixing things. On Friday, Columbus Public Health got complaints about Standard Hall in the short north. People were standing and moving around with their drinks. After talks with the health department, owner Chris Corso says patrons are now being told they can't be walking around. Most were sitting down Saturday. It was one of nearly two dozen investigations CPH did, and a spokesperson says there were no issues there. Obviously last night, you know, we had some optics issues, so last night was just a learning experience. I think it's going great today and it will continue to. Another important note from the Dine Safe Ohio order, which Franklin County Public Health reminded people about today. The order says people at restaurants or bars need to be sitting while they are eating or drinking. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4. All right, Eric, thank you. Well, new at 11 tonight, Governor Mike DeWine's press secretary has issued a new statement on the need for businesses to follow safety guidelines as they reopen. It says, in part, those who operate their businesses while disregarding safety guidelines designed to protect the health of their customers and all Ohioans are being irresponsible and need to understand that these guidelines will be enforced.